Okay, uh, in this tutorial we will be using variables again. So in the previous tutorial we looked at using variables in JavaScript and um, we also looked at how to join um, or concatenate variables um, or strings uh, in a message, so to join things together. Um, in this tutorial we'll use variables again, but we'll look at using operators. So um, making calculations with variables, um, that kind of thing. So to get started, I'm going to um, set up two new variables, um, one called x and one called y, and they will store two numbers. So use the var keyword to declare a new variable. So var x is equal to five, and var y is equal to 10. Okay, um, there's actually an, another way that we can declare uh, and initialize these variables in just one line. So instead of writing var x equals 5 and var y equals 10 on two lines, what we can do is we can delete this and just put in a comma. So var x equals 5, comma y equals 10. So we can declare and initialize uh, multiple variables on one line just by separating them with commas. Okay. Um, now we can make uh, another variable and we can call it z. We'll see. So var z equals x plus y. Okay. So I'm going to add some comments just to explain what's going on here. So we initialize the x and y variables. And here we add x and y together and store in the z variable. So we store the answer of x plus y in the variable called z. Okay, now we could print our answer to the screen. So we could do document.write. Oops, always spelling wrong here. Document.write, and then we could just put z in there. So it should, when we test this in Google Chrome, it should just say 15 because 5 plus 10 is equal to 15. So z. The variable z is x plus y, in other words, 5 plus 10. Okay, so we'll run that. Oops. Launching Chrome 15. There we go. Okay, so that worked. Um, now, what we could also do is we could increase by 1. So one way we could do it is uh, we could write uh, z equals z plus 1 if we wanted to increase z by 1, so to make it 16. Or we could just do this, z plus plus. z plus plus will increase z by 1. So we could, on document.write um, z, we can add a comma to concatenate, and we can add um, a HTML tag for break. So we can add a break here to start a new line. Oops, and we, we just need to put that in quotation marks. Don't forget that. So adding a break, and we're going to make a new line. And we're going to now write document.write z again. And this time it should say 15 here, but then it adds 1 to 15, so it's z plus plus. In other words, z equals z plus 1, so 15 plus 1, which becomes 16. It should print 16 on the line below, so it should say 15, and then below that, 16. We'll launch that in Chrome. There we go. So 15 and 16. If we want to 
decrease the number one by one, we could do z equals z minus one, or we could do z minus minus. Okay, so it should decrease by one. Test that in Chrome. And now 15 becomes 14. It's gone down by one. Um, so what we've used so far, we've used the plus operator, but we could also use the minus operator. We could multiply using the star or asterisk. We could divide using a forward slash, or we could use percent for modulus, uh, which we'll get to a little bit later. Okay. Uh, we can also use compound addition. So what I'll do is I'll just delete that and I'll put X plus equals Y. I'll watch what happens. Okay, so we've got 15 on the line below. So we've got 15 here and then we've got 15 here. And what has actually happened, instead of writing Z, um, well, in, instead of writing X plus Y, we've just made X equal to X plus Y. Oops. So if we print save that and we print X instead it's still 15 okay so X has become X plus Y all right so we've got Z equals X plus Y and we print Z we've got X equals X plus Y so we replace the X variable and we've printed X there and they both evaluate to 15 Okay, we could do, so that's compound addition. We could also do compound uh, subtraction. Okay. Um, we could do compound multiplication. Or we could do compound addition. So if we want to do compound subtraction, we could do X minus equals Y. Test that. Now it's minus 5, so x has become 5 minus 10, which is minus 5. We could do a uh, star for compound multiplication. We can test that. So now it's become 50. So x has become x times by 10, so 5 times 10 is 50. Um, or addition, so forward slash. And test that. So 0 0.5, which is 5 divided by 10. So x has become x divided by y, or 5 divided by 10. Okay, so we've used a few operators. We've used plus, uh, minus, multiply, um, and divide. Um, and we can also use modulus to find out the remainder from division. So um, say we have x equals 10 and y equals 3. We'll get rid of all of this code here and we'll just do z var z, so we'll set up a new variable, var z equals x modulus y and then we'll go document dot write Z, we test that, we have one. And if you don't know what modulus is, basically it does 10 divided by 3, which is equal to 3. So we can have three lots of 3 in 10 with a remainder of 1. So modulus of 1. Okay. Um, so we have plus to add, minus to subtract, star or asterisk to multiply, a forward slash to divide, and the percent sign for modulus. All right, 
And those are some of the operators in JavaScript. Thanks for watching.